everybody, it's the War Hipster here coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial and today we are painting up the fantastic, brand new, making a return at last, Atalan Rough Riders. Yes, here they are, long awaited models and they've been sent to me early by Games Workshop to build up paint and review for all of you and that is exactly what we're going to be doing today. And well, I'm really excited for these, I think they look amazing, awesome glow up, really dynamic, wonderful kit. And, well, they've been primed in Wraithbone. Now we're going to be focusing on, well, pro pretty much just one of them because well, it's pretty much the same across all of them. However, what we are going to be doing is going to be doing three different horse recipes for you. So you'll be able to choose whichever one you like um, or even, even do some of your own or build upon them, whichever you prefer. But before we do our horse recipes, the first thing we need to do is we need to actually add some base coats because whilst we've had it primed in Wraithbone, Wraithbone isn't exactly 100% the most appropriate paint here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some Mechanica Standard Grey first and we're going to apply this over the top of the cloth here on all of the horses, this front bit. Now we just want this to be on the outside, we don't want to get this on the inside bit. But we just want to get Mechanica Standard Grey all over here. like this and it will take two thin coats to build up a nice base coat. And we also want to do this bit up here on the neck, but that bit just behind the horse's ears is not going to be the same color blue. Blue, I hear you ask? You're painting gray. It'll make sense very shortly. So with that Mechanica Standard Grey all applied, what we're then going to do is take some thinned down Rust Grey and we're going to apply this over the top of the rider's cloak. Again, just on the outside. So with that done, our Tillin Rough Riders are now finally properly primed. So what we're going to do is we're going to start on those horse recipes. Now the first one we're going to do is pretty simple. It's going to be three parts contrast medium to one part gore grunter fur. And we're going to apply this over the top of all of the horse's flesh. So with that done, what we then do is we take some Garagax Sewer and we're going to apply this over the top of the horse's nose. Like that. We're going to apply this over the top of the horse's ankles. Like that and we're going to apply this over the tail. So with that Garagax sewer applied, what we then do is 
we move on to our next one. And the color we're gonna be using for this horse is Seraphim Sepia. And we're applying this all over the top of all of the horse's flesh. So with that Seraphim Sepia all applied, we then take Saigor Brown. We're gonna apply this over the top of the tail and the ankles. So with that Saigor Brown applied, we then take some Rattling Grime. And we're just gonna apply a little bit of this over the top of the horse's muzzle. So with that done, that's two horses down. So we're gonna go on to our final horse and we're still sticking with Rattling Grime here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of this Rattling Grime and we're gonna apply this over the top of all of the horse's flesh. So with that rattling grime applied, we're then gonna take some black Templar. We're gonna apply this over the top of the ankles, the tail, and the horse's nose. So with that done, we've got our three horse recipes. And well, what we're gonna do now is move on. And this is gonna be kind of generic details that go across all of them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with a roughly four part storm fiend to one part contrast medium mix. And we're gonna be applying this over the top of our Mechanica standard gray sections and the rust gray sections. We're gonna get two very distinctly different blues here from this. This is why we did this. Just got that four to one mix. With that bit of contrast medium in there, just to make it a little bit easier to navigate these wider open sections. without reducing the potency of the color too much. So with that done, you should have some gorgeous looking blues now. So what we're gonna do is move on to our next color. And that is going to be two colors. It is going to be Saigor Brown and Black Legion. And we're not doing them at the same time, but we sort of kind of are. So what we're looking to do here is colouring the majority of the leather details. And on a horse by horse basis, it might vary. So for example, if you've got quite a dark horse or you've gone for quite a brown horse, you don't want to be using Saigor Brown, but you want to be using Black Legion instead. Similarly, you see here on this tail, we don't want to use Black Legion over the top of that because it will just get lost. So we want to use Saigor Brown there. Whereas differently here, 
we don't want to use Saig or Bran on that tail, we want to use Black Legion. So this part is just one of those things where it's like dealer's choice. Um, now the majority of the details I am actually going to do with Saig or Bran. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be painting in areas such as the leather straps around here, the reins and the stirrups and things like that. But every so often, I'm going to want to swap it over to Black Legion just to create a little bit of variation. The reason we're doing these both at the same time, rather than kind of accurately picking it out as we normally do in our clips, is because, well, you want a bit of variation in these guys, and it does vary, as I mentioned, on a horse-by-horse -horse basis. So just take your time here. Make your way around. Make sure you pick out all the leather details using these two colors. So with that Saigor Brown and Black Legion applied, as you can see, there's quite a lot of leather all over these guys. But the good news is it's all base coated now. So what we're gonna do is move on to our next color. And that is going to be some Flesh Terrors Red. And we'll be applying this over the top of the gloves, the shoulders, and the helmets. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Griff Charger Grey. I'm going to apply this over the top of the helmet plume. And we're going to apply it over the top of the two kind of sleeping rolls. That they've all got. There's one on the front and one on the back. So that done, just whilst we're waiting for it to dry, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Agrax Earthshade and we're going to apply this over the top of the inside of the coats. Here and on the horse. Like that. And we're going to apply this over the top of the flesh tear is red and the fur so with that now done what we're then going to do is take some black templar and we're going to apply this over the top of the griff charge gray So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Fire Slayer Flesh and we're going to apply this over the face. So with that Fire Slayer Flesh all applied, what we then do is we take some Thinned Down Iron Warriors. We're going to apply this over pretty much all of our remaining details. The only thing you don't have to do at this point is the kind of grated section on the horse's headgear, the decorative elements on the sword, and so on and so forth. The horse's bit.
if there's any belt buckles, they're going to be a different metallic. So with all that Iron Warriors applied, we now add our final base coat, which is going to be some thinned down Rune Lord brass, and it's going to be all over the top of all of these little areas that we've left. So like that grill area on the on the horse's head, the decorative features of the spear and the sword. The Aquila on the front of the horse's chest. The horse's bit. And we're also going to use this to colour in all of the belt buckles. So that done, all of our base coats are now on on our Rough Riders. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a shade or two. Now, the first one we're going to add is Targor Raid Shade. And we're going to be applying this over the top of all of our metals. So that's including the Rune Lord Brass and the Silver. Just whilst we're waiting for that Targor Raid shade to dry, we're then going to take some Nuln oil and we're going to apply this over the top of the dark blue on the horses. And with that Nuln Oil applied, we then take some Agrax Earthshade and we're going to apply this over the top of the brass bits. So with that done, our Rough Riders are now what I would call a War Hipster battle ready and they already look pretty fantastic. But what we're going to do now is going to take them to the next level and we're not actually going to do a ton of work to them. There's only a couple of highlights here to do just to really make them pop because they already look pretty fantastic. So what we're going to do first, and this is the probably the biggest one, is we're going to take some Hoeth Blue and we're going to use this in two different ways. So the first thing we're going to do with the Hoeth Blue is we're going to use this to highlight our dark blue on the front here. So we're just going to start picking out the edges. And the kind of the large folds. Just like that sort of thing. In addition, what we're going to do with the Hoeth Blue is we're going to use this to re-layer our light blue. just avoiding any of the recesses. So with that Hoeth Blue applied, what we then do is we take some Fenrisian Grey and we're gonna use this 
to highlight our pale blue. Like that sort of thing. And on our dark blue, we're going to use this to just pick out the sharpest points of our little corners. Just like that sort of thing. So that done, both our blues look absolutely fantastic on our Rough Riders. So what we're going to do is move on. I'm going to take some Militarum Green and we're going to paint this over the top of all of our frag-tipped grenades. Just to create a little bit of visual interest. Just like that. And so with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some thins down iron hand steel and we're going to use this to highlight all of our silver details. This is going to really start making these guys pop. So with that iron hand steel applied, we then take some thin down Rune Lord brass and we're going to use this to highlight all of our brassy areas. So with that done, what we're going to do now is move on to our next colour, and that's going to be some thinned down scrag brown. And we're going to use this to highlight the top sides of all of our leather. So for example, I'm just going to add a little highlight there, like this. You don't need to do all of it, just enough for like where the, the light catches all these kind of side mounted bits. You see just how quickly that kind of comes together. So with that all done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thin down Evil Sun Scarlet. And we're going to use this to highlight the red, excluding the gloves. We want those to just remain dark. So with that Evil Sun Scarlet applied, we're then going to take some thin down Dawnstone. I'm going to use this to highlight our black details. So with those black details all highlighted, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some flayed one flesh. I'm going to use this to just pick out the sharpest parts on the faces.
like that. So with that flayed one flesh applied, we're then going to take a tiny amount of Volupus pink. I'm going to apply this over the top of any tongues, because a couple of them have got their mouths wide open. So with that Volupus pink applied, we're then going to take a tiny amount of Black Legion. I'm going to apply this over the top of their eyeballs as well as any moustaches. And as you can see, I've already done it on this guy. And so for our final highlight, just to finish off the whole thing, what we're going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Screaming Skull and apply this as a little dot in the corners of each of the eyeballs. And we're going to use this to highlight areas such as the horse's teeth. And areas such as the cloth. And so with their bases all complete, the Attilan or Atalan Rough Riders are now finished. And, well, we've saved the best till last in terms of the releases, honestly. I, I think these guys are just absolutely amazing. And I can't wait, as I've said many times, to get my hands on many, many more of them. I have this picture. There's 30 of them. It'll be the best thing ever. You wait. Rough Riders meta is on its way. Do you, well... Okay, it's probably not, but hey, at least that army will look really cool. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you want to support me further like these legends and bosses on the screen before you, you can do so. Head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash warhipster. Alternatively, you could become a YouTube member by heading to the channel page and clicking on the join button just here, just like these amazing, wonderful people have done. And if you really like this video or you just want to shoot me some support, you can click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.